Good morning. Morning, everybody. How are you doing today? We have rain. Yay! What was that, Kelly? Rain. What was that? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Right. Wow. We had to have the wipers on. We had, yeah. oh my God. We just arrived in Oatana and wow, we drove through this really wonderful rain cell. Actually, it was probably a thunderstorm cell because there was thunder and lightning, saw, yeah. really foggy, low visibility. But it's like, wow, finally some rain is coming into our region. If you're not familiar with Southeast Minnesota, Olmsted County and especially Fillmore and Mauer County have been in an ex exceptional drought. Um, status and Olmsted County has been an extreme so since mid-May yeah pretty much yeah. well it really started in July yeah. but we are so far down yeah. on water and so the rain is really welcome so we're standing out not quite raining but we're here in o Oatana at this lovely historic it's dam and Oatana bridge. means oh Oatana Oa water yeah Tana, straight straight water in Dakota straight water straight water oh so I guess the, the river that's was... what you were texting me yes. oh my gosh like Tom what does oh, this Tana. mean oh Tana. yeah okay so, all right straight river that's okay. cultural okay. appropriation okay. Yeah, I know it's cool. okay all right so we're here in Oatana for the state advisory board meeting and many of you may know or may not know that our University of Minnesota is a land-grant university and funding goes into our extension program. So 4-H, Regional Sustainable Development Partnerships, um, Agricultural Health, Extension Educators, and Snap Master Ed. Gardeners. Oh, Snap, Ed. Snap Ed's federally funded, Andrew, right? Yep. And then we also have Master Naturalists that fall under that. So I sit on the State Advisory Board, which sort of guides what we do as Master Gardeners. How many throughout the state? Oh my gosh. I can't count anymore. It's almost, I think it's almost 7,000. There's 7,000 of us lot. across the state We've had some doing, big years. Yeah. Yeah, doing educational outreach. So we're here at the Southeast Regional Gathering. Um, Steel, County is, Steel County is hosting today, and we're here in lovely Oatana. So if you wanted to become a Master Gardener and join this oh. educational outreach volunteer program. you got like a week to get going. you you got to apply. So, you got to apply. You got October You got to do the work, folks. Yeah. You got to apply. It's online. It's an online application. Yeah. I ask you a lot of questions about your interests, a little bit about your background, and, and, and maybe why you want to um, do uh, gardening. Learn more about uh, Yard and Garden and also um, community outreach. What kind of community outreach you like to do? Because that's really what we're about. So. We're about community we're educators. outreach. Edu we're, educational we are educators. outreach. Yes. And our seven priorities, you know, you can kind of. Oh no, you, not that again. <laughs> we, we always do seven and then we think there's one more. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to start counting on our hands for <laughs> no, sure, yeah. for sure. So we are, Olmsted County is the largest volunteer-led county in the state. We've got about 120 active members. 120 active, that includes some emeritus active. Yeah, yeah. emeritus active, once you've been in for, I don't know. Years, ten, ten years, 10 years. or how many hours? I don't know if there's an hour things. So I can't, much, I can't but, remember, yeah, I but you can more. go to Emeritus Active and there's not much volunteering. And some of those folks, we've got a lovely group of Emeritus Active folks oh, yeah. who have been with us for a long, long time very and have done a lot of good work. Knowledgeable very, folks, oh yeah. Um, and they don't, they don't volunteer much anymore. They just kind of hang out and reap the benefits of their knowledge and help others and it's great. And then we've got a, a core of 11 leadership team members that are active in driving the change in our county. We even have more than that, because we have two that want right. to be on got, it, but they're not they're voting members. They're not voting members. members. Yes. We, we, we voted on keeping them doing what, what we do. Yeah, and we team, listen yeah. to their voice, and we see where our program's going to be taking us. So we're going to be changing our group model, um, a leadership team break-off work group, is suggesting that we have a group leadership model, which we're very, very excited about doing. So. You was past chair for two years, and I was your vice chair. We were, we're sort of we're excited in a way because we're excited in a way because not, I'm tired. Because I'm we're so tired. not going to be chairing. Yeah, yeah. The Tom and Kelly uh, chairing will will end yeah, here after yeah. this year. Yeah, and but. we can just kind of go back, go drop drop off a little bit off the radar, and but other not folks emeritus. We still got we still got some time. <laughs> Kelly, come yeah, on. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. See the three stars there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So. So we want you to be a master gardener. We want you to join the fun that we have in educating folks, bringing up more gardeners, 
We were talking about our priorities. We've got seven of them. Okay, here we go. I, I love local food and clean okay, water. Those one. are the two that I rock the most. Uh, you are all about pollinator health okay, mostly. Okay. That's three, but four more. Nearby nature, nearby plant biodiversity. Nature's Okay, yeah, wait, and, not and too, here's not an too example fast. of here's an example. It's not too fast. <laughs> and biodiversity. Horticulture Oatana, skills. Oatana. Yeah. Horticulture Oatana. skills Oatana. and climate responsiveness. And the last one. I just did seven. Count my fingers. You didn't say clean water. Yes, did I did. You? I oh, said I. Said I, I okay. Are you paying attention? <laughs> Try and keep up. What's oh clean God. water in Dakota? I don't know. <laughs> Something. Yeah. Oh, we got yeah. we gotta find that one. Yeah. Um, okay. But those are the seven. Those are the seven, so. Yeah, so you can kind of pick your pick your area that you're passionate about and what you want to do. And uh, as you're as you're working through the core course, working through the programming, you learn a lot. You volunteer a little bit more time. You can dive into all the areas and get to know all the things yep. we do. And after your year of interning, you're free to go and create something new on your own. Partner with some folks that are local, some agencies, either um, local government units or just some some nonprofits or even some businesses businesses love to help out and get their name get their name yeah. put out there and show that they're doing good work too so we, we have emeritus you. that are on the um Homestead county extension committee yes the extension committee drives a yeah. lot of what we do of so course the county kind of commissioners vote some... on a budget that helps to fund our yeah. our extension it would be really fun it. kelly if we had another what would be really fun if we had i didn't a... say where are we Oatana. <laughs> you didn't ask what would me be that. fun? I know I didn't. What would be it. fun is if somebody else would come up with some kind of ongoing education for Homestead County because we have oh we have Hutton, right? The Hutton Tomato, Tomato Tuesdays. Tomato Tuesdays. If you've seen Hutton, but I, yeah. But you know it'd be nice if somebody else of our 120 and we got some more people coming in. Yeah. Somebody keep, else keep, come up with a yeah. show. Yeah. So far, so far the applications end October 1st, so you've got to get your got to yep. apply by October 1st. So you've got about a week and a half or so left. Um, and I think we've got seven or eight now. We just got another one the other day. But in the past three years, in the past two years, we've had over 20 applicants. Yeah, Gardening much, really yeah, became so. a deal. Ooh, there's some more of that thunder. Did you hear it? Okay, These white no, pines going. are lovely. Yep. And we've got, a, we've got an ash tree there. We've got a lovely stand of cottonwoods here. You can probably see the cottonwoods. Yeah, so I think it's time. Yep. I think it's time. It's about time to say goodbye to episode 20. How, what's that song? So long, kind of farewell. A, oh yeah. So long, no, farewell. No, not that one. I'll see you. Here's Dana. Do, do you, and you, and you, and you, and you. No, that wasn't the one I was thinking of, though. It was, um, well, it's more melancholy. We'll just leave it there. Okay. And the dorky people that we are, <laughs> we having are. fun. All you so, need is some talent. Oh, and my some gosh. some dorkiness. Yeah. Well, dorkiness well, together. Well, but. Yeah. yeah. Real not real talent. Skill, skill, here, so. sets, skill sets help. <laughs> and the a camera person. The, and the a sound tripod person. helps with camera work yep. for sure. And we might even get into cinematography. We, we were talking about that. So. Oh yeah. All right. We'll okay, that. we're ready to say so goodbye. So thank you everybody for following us this year. Last episode of this season oh is God, next week. About that. Yes. You, I'm trying we're to gonna, help you out. And here. we need questions. We engage us a little engage bit. us so the last What's, what works last, what doesn't work yeah last episode is next week um the last thursday of september 2023 and we want your questions we want to answer some of your questions so please please tune in please email your questions or post them in the comments below or get a hold of us on our youtube channel the tom and kelly show um facebook whatever. facebook however you want to reach us text their call email the extension office and say get those people off of the internet, <laughs> we don't, whatever you want to do. We All look right. forward to engaging. Thanks so much, everybody. All right, rock your rock day. Bye-bye.